It's time to take 10 minutes for Torah with Rabbi Joel Finkelstein. Welcome to our discussion of repentance, inevitable redemption. The the notion that the Jews will inevitably be redeemed, that one day all the prophecies will come true. Of course, we say it every Shabbos. We read the prophets and then we say, not one word of the prophets will not come true. Well, then the Jews have to have redemption. But in order for the Jews to have redemption, it says in Parshat Nitzavim, that uh, you will repent. So if the Jews repent, then they'll be redeemed. But if they don't repent, then they won't be redeemed. But isn't it possible that the Jews won't repent? So this question was already debated in the Talmud. Rabbi Eliezer and Rabbi, Eliezer and Rabbi Yeshua. Two rabbis, two teachers of Rabbi Akiva, the great Rabbi Akiva, they taught as follows. Rabbi Eliezer, who was really just a huge scholar, but very often had bizarre uh, points of view, he says, If the Jews don't do tshuva, they, they won't be redeemed. So Rabbi, Rabbi Yoshua, who was a little more uh, perhaps uh, humane or what, he said, look, it's good enough for the mourner to be in his mourning. What does that mean? That God has to bring redemption. Why? Because God is so many years, uh, he's sitting there, no redemption, people are, people are making fun of God. If, if the Jews never repent, he's not just going to stay there for 10,000 years with no redemption. He's got to do something. There must be an end, there must be a point where that's it, it's enough. God will redeem the, the world even without the, Jew, the Jews repenting. Another interpretation of Rashi is Israel. It's enough for the Jews to mourn and to be stuck in exile for a certain number of years. After a while, it's enough already. So we have Rebbe Lezer and Yeshua. Rebbe Lezer says, look, if they don't repent, they're not, there's no redemption. Rebbe Yeshua says, even if they don't repent, There'll be a redemption. How could it be? So could be that he says that God will make a, a king like Haman, a, a Haman who will force us to do tshuva, and then we'll do tshuva, and then we'll uh, then we'll be redeemed. So then, so it's unclear whether Rabbi Yeshua does require some sort of of uh, repentance at some point. But it's not the Jews from on their own will not necessarily do it. This point is debated in the Talmud. The reason there's such a vigorous debate, they go back and forth, there's a tremendous repartee there in Sanhedrin uh, 97 to 98. Such a repartee because there's so many verses that are in contradistinction. We have Parshat Nitzavim says the Jews will repent and then they'll be redeemed. Parshat Hazinu, the whole point of Hazinu is that the Jews are no good and they're not repenting, but one day God will say, look, the Gentiles is going around saying that God has no power for the sake of, of God's name and to take revenge against the Gentiles who oppress the Jews. One day God will redeem us without, without teshuva. Sons, teshuva. So we have Nitzavim, yes, teshuva. Hazinu, not teshuva. We have Ichezkel. Uh, there's Lol Manchem, chapter 36. I'm not doing it for you. I'm doing it for me. You know why I'm redeeming the Jews? Because of my name. My name has been turning into mud. I want to redeem the Jews. So which one is it? Now, this question, so the, the, uh, the Rambam says that Sophie Yisrael has a tshuva. Rambam says, in the end, the Jews will do tshuva. And then they'll be redeemed. He says, tshuva is so amazing because it says that, um, that, um, that all the prophets spoke about tshuva and the Jews will only be redeemed by tshuva and the Torah has already promised that the Jews will do tshuva and then immediately they'll be redeemed. So it's very strange because the Rambam seems to follow Rebbe Eliezer. And both in the, in the Babylonian Talmud uh, where it says, that that uh, Istalik Rebbe Lazar Rebbe Lazar said, I don't know. I can't. Uh, Shasak Rebbe Lazar Rebbe Lazar said, oh, you got a good point there. I don't know. Rebbe Lazar said, you're right. There there is an official time for the redemption to come. So, you know, it says in Daniel, there's a certain time when the redemption is coming. So, if the Jews don't repent, it has to come at that time anyway. So Rebbe Lazar was stymied. 
Or in the Jerusalem Talmud, they have the same debate, and there it says, uh, Istalik. Istalik, Rabbi Lazer, um, agreed that uh, at a certain point, there'll be a redemption. That's all there is to it, uh, whether the Jews repent or not. So if in the Gemara, both in the Yerushalmi and the Bavli, Rabbi Lazer gives in, and he says, you're sure you're right. The Jews were redeemed even without Shuvah. And well, how come the Rambam says that the Jews will only be redeemed with Shuvah? The Ramban is very excited about this idea of, of Parshas Hazinu, that the Jews can be redeemed without Teshuvah. He says, this is great. That means that no matter what happens, there's no question the Jews will be redeemed. Yes, Some people might say that, you know, the Jews are no good. So since the Jews are no good, they never got redeemed. But says the Ramban, no, this Parsha of Hazinu, the end of uh, the Torah, the song of Hazinu, that song, at Moses' song there before he blesses the Jews, that song seems to indicate that no matter what happens, it doesn't matter what the Jews do, that God will redeem the Jewish people. So it's such, a, it's such, it's such good news. Uh, the Hasidim get very excited about this parsha. They say, that's amazing. What a parsha that the Jews don't have to repent. They'll still be redeemed. That's terrific. So Ramban thinks that Hazinu is right. That, that Rabbi Yeshua is right. That you don't have to do tshuva in order to be redeemed. It would be nice if we did. But if they don't, if we don't repent, we'll be redeemed anyway. That's, uh, that's the Ramban. The Ramam says, no, they have to do tshuva. Now, this, uh, this question hinges on a different question. When the Torah says you will return to God, is that a prediction or a commandment? The, the Ramban says it's, it's a commandment. So there's no prediction that the Jews will do tshuva. The Jew, maybe the Jews won't do tshuva. There's a commandment to do tshuva. The Rambam says, there's no mitzvah to do tshuva. There's a mitzvah to, rep- to confess when you do tshuva, but there's no mitzvah to do tshuva. Uh, the, 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 the words, v'shavtad Hashem al-kecha, you shall re- return, don't mean you shall, means you will return to God. So, uh, so the Rambam says, there's no, there's no source for commandment. There is a source that the Jews will repent. The Torah has promised, the Torah has prophesied, and it's an absolute that the Jews will repent, says the Ramban. What he'll do with Hazino, I don't know. But the Ramban says, what do you mean? There's no, there's no promise the Jews will repent. There's, on the contrary, there's a story of Hazino that says we might not repent. There's another uh, possibility in the Rambam. The, the Rambam might uh, say what he says, going against, the, against uh, Rabbi Yeshua, who was, seemed to have won the argument in the Talmud. Because there was a later rabbi, Rav, first rabbi in Babylonia, first major rabbi, he says, Kalu kala and Dover Toli El Bachuva. He says, very nice. The only reason Rabbi Lezer agreed was because there's a set time for tshuva. But we've calculated when the redemption was supposed to take place, according to Daniel, according to other people, and it's over. The redemption is past. He says, God is waiting for the tshuva. So the uh, so Ra, since Rav, who's later than Rebbe Lezer, since he seems to go against Rebbe Lezer, and he seems to follow Rebbe Lezer, go against Rebbe Shua, so the, the Rambam says, I'm, I'm going to follow Rav. I'm going to follow Rebbe Lezer. Uh, because it's true. If there were, you had to wait to a certain time, then the time would come, and even if the Jews didn't do tshuva, but since the time has already passed, so apparently we have to wait for tshuva, and it all depends on tshuva. So the, the Rabbi Salvegi says, oh, that's very depressing. That means that if we don't repent, we're not going to be redeemed. He says, no, don't worry about it. Because the Torah promised that we're going to do tshuva. You see, it's, it's, not a, it's not a question. He says, he says as follows, he says that, uh, that the Torah promised that we will do it at the end of our redemption, of our, of our exile. So we don't have to worry about it. We, I believe with a complete faith that the Jews will repent one day. And on that day, they will be redeemed immediately. So there's no question about it. This question is not merely an academic question. If we look today, the state of affairs, we not only mean that many Jews are not religious in that sense, but even people who claim to be religious, like all of us, right? Wait, are we perfect? Are we, have we repented in the perfect way that uh, God would envision that the Jews would repent? Uh, have we come so close with God? I don't know. I'm not sure about that. So I'm not going to point fingers at anyone. But certainly, we as a whole, as Jewish people, we haven't repented. So, the question is, does that mean that the redemption can't come until that time that all of us repent? Those who are not religious, those who are religious have to be more religious. Those who are not religious have to become religious and be more religious. 
Is that what we're waiting for? According to the Rambam, yes. According to the Ramban, not necessarily. According to the Ramban, you know, at some point, God's going to say, it's enough already. It's enough already. So let's hope. Let's hope that either Rambam will be right, and somehow this year, all the Jews will repent, will turn around, will come closer to God. We've seen a lot of people putting on tefillin, mezuzahs, sitzes, davening, uh, praying. So let's hope that we'll, we'll be redeemed that way, in the, the ideal way. And if not, let's hope at least that uh, Rabbi Yeshua's vision should come true, that it's enough, it's enough mourning, it's enough, enough death, enough wars, and let's hope that God will say, okay, it's enough already, even though the Jews didn't get around to tshuva. It's the Jews have suffered enough, uh, I, God, suffered enough, let's, let's redeem the world, uh, even without the repentance of the Jews. Like the Ramban, like Parsha Hazinu says, like Yechezkel says, let's hope, indeed, we can reach that day, and on that day, we will indeed uh, be redeemed and, uh, and uh, Violet's young Goel, the Redeemer, will come to Zion. Thank you for joining us here at the Baron Hirsch Congregation for our discussion. Thanks to uh, Mindy and Howard Wagerman for sponsoring our discussion this week. And thanks to Jason Lefkowitz, our producer. Thank you. This has been 10 Minutes for Torah with Rabbi Joel Finkelstein. 